What's happening, everybody? P. Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to pick number 12 of albums that are 10 years old in 2024. That's right. We're looking back on 2014. Split the month in half. The first half, we looked at 2004, our top 15. Now we're doing our top 15 from 2014, celebrating albums that are 10 years old. 10th birthdays, 10th anniversaries. However you like to look at it today for pick number 12, I'm going to go to Sweden for a third full-length studio album from this band, and to date their last. Very sad about that. The album is called Motherload. The band is called The Graviators. Yes, indeed. Three kick-ass albums to their credit. I wish there were more. Doom, stoner metal. If you love classic Black Sabbath, but certainly the great British band Cathedral, and certainly the great... Candle Mass, maybe a little bit of Pentagram, got a little bluesy, heavy rock, like Zeppelin-y type stuff going on here as well. Uh, killer, killer record. And uh, I wish there was more. I always loved the cover too as well. And uh, this came out on, uh, what record label is this? On Napalm Records. Wow. Forgot that they were on Napalm Records. Uh, in the band for this album, we've got Nicholas Schulberg on vocals. Martin Fairbanks on guitar, Johan Holm on bass, and Henrik Bergman on drums. Special guest Petrus Fredestat on Hammond organ, Wurlitzer piano, and synths. And Johan Bergman, uh, Spacey Sounds, on one track. Yeah, I remember when this came out, uh, I was big into this band, this and the album that came before it. And really eagerly anticipating more but then like kind of the years went by and i kind of forgot all about them it's not until i was doing like the forgotten favorite show last month that i kind of like rediscovered and looking for bands to talk about during the forgotten favorites month i was like wow you know the, the graviators band that probably could have been really really something on the doom slash stoner scene uh but it's been like a decade you know, and uh, not really going to build any momentum. And I remember this album and the second album both were starting to gain some traction in this community. And then you just blink and the band just kind of disappeared off the face of the earth, sadly. But got some great stuff on here. Uh, Narrow-Minded Bastards, the kickoff track, just bulldozingly heavy. I mean, this there's just some serious bottom end to this. Great riffs. Love the vocals. Bed of Bitches. Another kick-ass song, Tigress of Siberia. Uh, that's a good one. That's, you know, slower, spacey, doomy, heavy stuff. Lost Lord, another big epic one, just under 11 minutes long. Love that track. Uh, we've got um, Cope Authority, another cool one. Drowned in Leaves. Eagles Rising, the last two tracks are so good. This is another one of those albums that, like, it starts off really good and then it ends really, really well. You got Eagles Rising, about nine minutes long. That's just got a menacing, menacing, crushing riff. All you Sabbath candle mass fans. I, and the vocal style is kind of reminds me of Lee Dorian from Cathedral, a little bit in spots. It's got that there, that little slight psychedelic kind of stoner edge that cathedral adds to their flavor of doom you kind of get a similar type thing coming on here and then druid's ritual is the last track and that's like 13 minutes and change terrific so a lot of like longer tracks with moments of atmosphere and psychedelia mixed in with that bulldozing doom that they do so well um killer album killer album Let's show you inside right there we go there we got the guys right there. They looked the part as well. So anyway, that is my pick for today. Terrific album from the Graviators. Maybe their last ever. Don't know. I should kind of look into that because I don't think I ever really heard of them definitively being done. But man, 10 years is a long time. Maybe they all moved on to other projects and things like that. It's possible. So that's my pick. Motherload from the Graviators today from Sweden. Killer album from 2014. Check it out if you haven't already. List your pick down below. This is on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube all together all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as a post. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below, we got the links to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations, our merch page, and our Cameo page. 
Thank you in advance for all your support there, as always. And we'll see you soon here with more stuff. It's What's Hot with Sea Tranquility Day because it is Wednesday. Loads of new reviews on stuff today, so uh, don't miss any of them. They'll just be coming at you during the day. Hope you can spare five or so minutes for each clip to check them out and uh, hopefully find a new album to love uh, in your collection. I'm Pete Pardo. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.